Hey everybody, it's Joshi, and today I'm going to be doing a story time slash telling y'all a dream slash straightening my hair with this straightener that um, our Joshi Army member here, Karen, um, got for me a little while back and I wasn't able to use it because I had no hair, but now that I have hair, we're going to be trying it out. And I'm going to tell y'all about some strange dream I had and also about some relationship drama that I had. <laughs> If you are interested in that type of thing, just stick around. Um, and I'm also listening to Jeffree Star right now. I just all of a sudden wanted to hear Jeffree Star while I did this video. And then I'm going to listen to Nirvana and Alice in Chains because today, April 5th, I believe that it is. Let's just make sure before I embarrass myself. Okay, yes. Today is April the 5th. It is... Kurt Cobain and Lane Staley's. They both passed away on the same day. Um, different times apart, but on the same day. Y'all know how much I love Kurt Cobain and how much I love Lane Staley. I don't talk about Lane as much because he's my sister's man. I'm like, this is my microphone. I'm going to tell you all these stories. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to be telling y'all about all that. So if you're interested, just stick around. Um, so I'm going to let this heat up. And while I let that heat up, I'm going to... Like, this is my pink piece of hair that I was telling y'all about. I used the Arctic Fox hair dye and bleached it, like, once, I think. And this is what I got just with that. I'm going to try that with these Bellamy's once they get, like, really shitty. So, wish me luck. I'm going to put this fantasy on me. It's a, it's a, what is this called? Lingerie fantasy? No. Intimate fantasy. <laughs> Lingerie fantasy. That's what I will call my perfume. Brittany, don't take that idea. Don't, don't you do it. I'm going to do it first. I'm going to take some of this Sahara Gold from Beauty Basics and I'm going to put that up under my eye because why not? Heat up. Oh my God. I'm going to get my drink. Hold that thought. And boyfriends. Do any of y'all want to be my boyfriend? Like I'm really single now. Like I really fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I can fuck until the sun comes up. Well, suck and fuck until the sun comes up. Suck and fuck me till the sun comes up. You can fuck me till the sun comes up. I like both of those. Choke and fuck me till the sun comes up. Like a brown lip liner and then I put some lip gloss over top of it. I was living for it like at that very moment and I was just like, I'm going to do it. So sippy sippy. All about it, girlfriend. Okay, so right now I'm waiting for my friend to come and pick me up. So I'm just going to get ready for that while I tell y'all this story um so i'm gonna go hang out with my friend and i'm gonna tell y'all this story and right now i'm looking for my hair heat protectant because i would like to not scorch my hair extension so hold that thought so anyway as y'all know i've been going through a little bit of a breakup or not a little bit i've been going through a lot of a breakup and so me and the guy really had a falling out recently about some shit and um, I think my brain has just been kind of stressed out or maybe not just kind of, it's been really stressed out. So <laughs> yeah, so um, what happened today is I went to take a nap because one of my friends wants to hang out and I didn't know when they were gonna like eventually like actually show up. So, and then I figured out it was going to be a little while, so I was like, okay, I'm going to take a nap. So, it's now like 2.37 a.m. Um, a.m. And I'm still waiting, and I have texted him, and he was like, okay, I'm going to be there eventually. <laughs> and I was like, I just need somebody to hang out with. I'm about to go crazy up in this bitch right here because I'm crazy and life is happening. Uh, isn't it funny how life just keeps going with with or without you? It's just like, bitch, I ain't got time for your bullshit right now. I got my own bullshit to put you through, so deal with it. And you're just like, fuck you, life. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. So, um, yes. Okay. I'm like, I might as well take these extensions out and then put them back in. But, oh my god, y'all, that is so much work. I just don't feel like I've, I'm prepared for that. Okay, anyway. So, so yeah, me and him had a really bad falling out recently, um, and now I've done had these crazy strange dreams. Okay, let's get back to the right. I'm like, I'm, I'm going all over the place right now. My brain is just racing because I, I literally just woke up a little bit ago and I've told my sister and my friend about it because my, one of my friends was in it. Um, so yeah. Anyways, so 
Okay, so the dream is my ex, Michael, the one who I was recently just broke up with, he had invited me to this college party because while we have been together, he's been in, in college, school type stuff, you know, he's, he's going to be a graduate to work on cars and shit like that that I know absolutely nothing about. And so, um, he invited me to this party and... Um, I got to this party and there was people there. It was all fun. Uh, let's see if I can remember exactly. So I walk in and he is, he's so, he's there and, um, yeah, he's just like, so what's up? And we're like chilling and we're having drinks and we're talking about stuff. And I'm like, yo, I'm like, I need to go to the store and get some Cheetos, like some flaming Hot Cheetos, and I need to go get um, some alcohol because um, I fucking hate you, so I'll be right back. <laughs> no, that's not really how it happened, but I had to go somewhere in the dream because apparently in this dream I can also drive. I, I can't drive in real life, but <clears throat> in my dreams, girlfriend, I'm the best driver ever, and so yeah, I went to go to the store or to go, uh, like I said, get Flamin' Hot Cheetos and vodka. I run out to the store, you know, to go get the shit, and I get back to the house. It, well, it's, it's like a house in the dream. It's like one of my other, it's so complicated. It's one of my other exes, my ex Josh. We are at his house for some reason. Uh, for, it's his house, but it doesn't look like his house. Does that make sense? And we're there, and so I get back, <clears throat> and I'm like on the porch, and I can kind of see through the the window thing on the door. What are those things called? Like not a peephole, but a um, like just a stained glass type. It's like kind of stained, but you can see through it. Um, and he's sitting at this table with this chick, y'all, and um, so he's sitting there with this chick, and. They're just like laughing and having a good time. They have their drinks and he's like, I am so happy that bitch is gone so I can talk to you, you pretty ass blonde bitch. And I'm just standing out here on the porch like, who the fuck do you think you're talking to talking to this little bitch out here? I will rip her face off. That little cunt talking to my man. She don't know me. I will straight up cut her. <laughs> and so, yeah. Look, see me talk. See me suck a lollipop. Uh, mm -hmm. wanna get nasty I love Jeffree Star um so anyway I walk in and obviously I'm already pissed because I've already seen him sitting there with her and I walk in and he's like scooted up beside her kind of and he's like holding her hand and I'm like nah and when I walk in he starts to like he um he scoots over away from her like you know like nothing's going on like I'm so stupid like I didn't just see you sitting there holding her hand and talk to her like stupid in my dreams too right um and so um this bitch she gets up and walks away and I'm already pissed I don't want to say nothing to him but I go over there and I'm like look I'm like I saw you sitting there with her and holding her hand I want to know what's up and I got really pissed off obviously and so I get in my car because like I said, I drive now, uh, and I go to drive up the road, and I'm like so planning my suicide, I'm like, this is the end, I'm gonna drive this fucking car into a tree, and so that's what I did, and somehow I lived, you know, because I'm Joshy, and it's not gonna be that easy to get rid of me, like, no matter how hard you try, you're not gonna get rid of me, especially that easy, like, crashing me into a car and blowing my brains out and all. I'm just going to come right back, you know? And so, so yeah, we like totally, one of, um, one of my guy friends, he like had texted me in this dream and he was confessing his love for me. He's like, oh my God, I love you. I have wanted to tell you I love you for so long, but I didn't want to hurt you. And I'm like, oh my God, baby. I'm like, yes. I'm like, I'm so happy for your love. This is the perfect time because my love life just went through the roof. My boyfriend just cheated on me with this ugly blonde bitch. And here you are. And I will confess my love to you too, because that's how I am. You know, I just want to confess my love for everybody if I love them. Ow, ow, 
And, you know, if I don't love them, I'm just like, get the fuck out. Who, who do you think you're talking to? I am Joshy. I don't got time for you. He's, like, telling me all of his love for me and, like, we're so going to be together one day. And he just didn't want to hurt me, but he really loves me. And he's so happy to tell me his love for me. And I'm just like, yes. I'm like, don't stop. I'm like, keep going. I'm like, I, I, I'm, I'm willing to take on all the love you have to give me. So we are like driving up the road. I go get him and I go to take him to this party with me, you know, since my boyfriend has done cheated on me and I'm ready to have a new man and move the fuck on with my life. I like most people do when you want to get over somebody, you know, normal. And, um, so we get there and all of a sudden it turns into this big thing where the girl, wait, I don't even know if this is in order now. Oh, wait, no, it's not. So we get there, and my mom is there, and me and my mom got into it over some stupid shit. I said nothing really big, but still, we argued, and, um, next thing I know, my mom is in the dream, and she goes to, like, take a bath or whatever, and I'm, like, arguing with her about something in the dream. Like, we are just about to kill each other, like usual. It is so intense. You know, everybody is just about to kill everybody in this dream, so... We get halfway through that and all of a sudden it's like my mom had breast cancer at one point and in the dream it was like all of a sudden she was sick again she it was like the cancer was back or something and she had no hair and she just looked horrible like she was sick and we both just started crying and she was like i'm sorry i didn't mean to be mean to you she's just it's where she's sick and it goes from that to I get out of there, you know, we're done talking about her being sick and it's all horrible and we're all just going to die. And ugh, this hair extension doesn't want to attach again. And so, you know, we get done with all that intense conversation and I get back out there with my guy friend and, <clears throat> you know, that girl, the one who just stole my other man is like trying to steal my new man and she's like talking to him and then there's this, there's this guy that I went to school with named Dustin and he is like talking mad shit to me. He's like, I just want to beat your ass. I'm going to beat your ass. And that girl is standing there flirting with my new man because, you know, of course, they just, they have to steal all my men. Like they cannot get their own. A bitch cannot get her own man. They got to have yours. And so that's what she did. She tried and I went and kicked that bitch's ass. I, I beat the shit out of her. And then I beat the shit out of this other guy I went to school with for talking shit to me. I'm like, fuck y'all bitches. Y'all don't know me. I will put you in a Louis Vuitton body bag. And that'll just be at the end of it, you know? So I beat their ass. And then there is like... What is it? <clears throat> okay, so me and this guy are talking. And my ex is like over here having a good time. Because he's so happy he doesn't have to be with my crazy ass anymore. And he's like, I can just do whatever I want. And so, so, my friend, he's like, you know, still telling me his love for me. And all of a sudden, here comes my mom and my mama. And they're like talking to me about something. I have no idea what it is because I must be drunk in this dream. Like, drunk from sleep. Like, where I'm actually asleep in real life. So, in the dream, I'm drunk. <laughs> Um, plus I've been drinking all week. <clears throat> you know, I have a lot of, I have a lot of things to forget, okay? I have had a hard life this week. I have to forget things, so I have to drink, so. So, yeah, and, <clears throat> so they come out and they're talking to me and telling me all this stuff. And they're like, they are not worth it. They are so stupid. Like, this guy is so cool, the new one. Like, you will be, you will be okay. And I'm like, no, I'm not. My life is over. You know, it is it's just all over for me. You know, like there is no point for me to go on. And they're just like, nah, bitch, you need to chill. Me and this guy just keep talking and we end up, I'm like out of cigarettes in this dream. So I have to go to the DM store, which is apparently like right next to the house. Like how convenient dream. I don't even got to drive to the store. Like I can just walk. It's like two seconds away. It's like the way the Walmart and everything is up here at, at my house. Or, like, in my area, I don't have a Walmart near my house. I wish that I did. Like, I would be, I've been a bitch right now. Like, hey, everyone, I don't know you, but hi. I don't know. I feel like this is kind of anticlimactic because I ended up waking up as, like, I was going to the store to go get my cigarettes because I guess it was, like, my brain was, like, okay, your friend's probably going to be here soon, bitch. It's time to wake up. So, 
that's when I woke up and that's like all I remember is just all this intense shit and like my boyfriend's cheating on me right in front of me and me ended up with this other guy which is kind of just like a reflection on my real life kind of but um I don't know should I go ahead and tell y'all I don't know what can I call this vlog strange dreams of a traveling whore that's what that's what I'll call it because I'm apparently a whore now Karen I love this straightener though do you see that that is straight unlike me so anyway <coughs> that was that dream that was pretty intense right so aside from the dream in real life this past week uh yeah I've like had so much drama um uh, and I wasn't picking my nose it was like an itch like between me and my now completely ex so as y'all know I made the video where me and him broke up um my heart was broken because I really 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 loved this guy like with all my heart I stayed with him through a lot of hard shit and shit that I didn't feel comfortable with and feeling like he didn't want me anymore but I stayed anyway because I just loved him that much I was just like you know it's it might just be a thing so um, I went out drinking with two of my friends the other night, or I went out drinking with my friend and his friend the other night, and, um, it kind of went crazy, or I kind of went crazy, so we go out drinking, and we get back to this other guy's house, not my friend, but the other guy's, and <coughs> my friend, he's like, he has to go to the store to get something, and I was just like, okay. And he was like, well, just stay here with him so you can keep him away. I'm going to give him names. Um, uh, Ron and we'll just say the other guy's name is Tom. So Ron is my close friend and Tom is this guy that I've kind of just met. Um, friends with him on Facebook and stuff just in general. And barely have really talked that much. But, you know, acquaintance is enough that uh, my, uh, my friend Ron was just like okay I'm gonna go and go like do this and I'm just like okay and he's like okay stay here with Tom and make sure that Tom like from Facebook not not him but you know, it just made me think of that but he's like stay here with him and keep him awake and I'm like okay so again me and my boyfriend had been broken up for a week and I felt like he wouldn't take me back I've been giving him hints and everything apparently he was giving me hints but I've been telling him like I want you back I love you I still love you and from what I could tell it wasn't gonna happen like I felt like it was completely over and I wanted to be over him so this guy um, he's like flirting with me and at one point in the truck like my friend Ron had went to go and and use the bathroom and my friend was like well just let me know if there's anybody in there or whatever because he must be like me he doesn't like people and um, Ron goes in there to use the bathroom and while he's in there this guy he's like so are you gonna talk because I was being like really shy and quiet like I usually am around people and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm like really nervous. And I'm like, you're cute and everything, but I'm just like, I'm really nervous. But mind y'all, he is fucking hot. This guy is so damn hot. Like, oh my God. So he's like, give me your hand. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, take my hand, babe. Take the wheel. And he takes my hand and he puts it on his crotch and on his heart on that he has. And I'm like, mm. I'm like, hey there. I'm like, hi. Mm. So yeah, he does that. And at that point, I'm just like, ooh, hey, baby. And then we we're, like, going down the road almost to his house. And he sends me, or not sends, yeah, he messaged me on Facebook. But I don't have my phone or nothing with me because I don't have service right now. And he's like, do you want to suck my dick? And I'm, like, being kind of quiet because my family's maybe asleep. And I do not want them to hear the story. But, yeah, he's like, do you want to suck my dick? And I'm like, hmm, I'm like, I might. But Ronnie is, like, right beside me. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, you need to, like, you need to put that on somewhere. Like, he's going to see that. He ain't stupid. So, he does, and he's, like, passing out and shit. We get to his house. Uh, my friend Ronnie has to go to the store and get some shit. So, he goes out, you know, he's like, keep him awake, and I sure did. So, we're standing there, and we're talking, like, drinking, and smoking cigarettes, and, you know, the things that adults like me do. And he's just, like, flirting with me, and he's like, so... He's like, do you want to do it? And I'm like, I would love to, but I'm so nervous right now. Like, I really want to. You're so hot and all this and that. Like, really wanting to, but being, like, nervous to make a move. So he's like, come with me. So we're in his garage. Like, he works on cars and shit. So we're in his garage, and we go to the other room. Like, the one, like, right beside that one. And 
<laughs> and we start making out. And I'm like, ooh, baby. And I'm like feeling him up. He's feeling me up. I'm like surprised because he's feeling me up. Um, because he's straight. Uh, straight. Straight. Air quote. Um, so, yeah. He's like making out with me. And he puts his hand around my throat like this. And he's like choking me while he makes out with me. And, oh, my God, y'all. It was so hot. Like, I've never really been like into choking before. But now... I understand. I understand, girl. I was all, I was all about it. I was like, ooh, baby. <laughs> I was like, don't stop. We're making out, and I end up, um, I kind of end up giving him a blowjob. Like, I end up sucking him off. And then he, at one point, he was like, let me return the fa favor. And he goes to unbutton my jeans and do it. So I'm like, are you sure? I'm like, are you sure you want to do this? I'm like, are you positive? And he just, he just does it. And I'm just like, at first I was nervous because I was like, he's not going to know what he's doing. This is so scary. But, um, homeboy knew what he was doing because, ooh, 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 oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it, it was so good. Like, oh my God, y'all. I was surprised. I was shocked. I was like, ooh, baby. I was like, give me more of that. So, yeah. Um, so he does all of that and I am just over here like living for it. I am like, ooh, I'm like, mm. Um, so we get to a point where we're like trying to fuck and everything, but we had no lube and I was like, I can't do it. It's, it's not going to happen tonight. I'm like, we'll have to do this another time. Um, so I like, I just go back to sucking him and then my friend Ronnie gets back and he's like, yo, and this guy, he like jumps up and runs out the other side of this and like goes in the other way. And I'm like standing there for a minute. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, I'm stranded now. My, our friend is going to know this guy is going to be upset with me, but I mean, no way he could be upset with me because you know. His house has rules. He let me do it. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. We, like, we did all that, and then we get back out there, and then we just all go back to drinking and having a good time like nothing happened, and that's what I tried to do. I tried to pull it off like nothing happened, and that's, that's how it happened. <laughs> that's how nothing happened happened, right? So, yeah. It was a really good time until I got home, and I got really emotional and started listening to Alice in Chains, and I'm a dumbass. I text my, I uh, message my ex, who we just broke up, and I go to tell him, I go and tell him, like, all of this has happened now, um, because I'm stupid, and I told him, and he got so mad at me the next day. We argued for hours. He was like, he feels betrayed and all this and that and the other. And I'm like, you, for one, broke up with me. Two, I kept trying to tell you I still really love you and I still want to be with you and all of this and that and the other. And he's just like, well, you know, whatever. He just turns it into me just being this horrible person who basically has cheated on him. <clears throat> okay so the camera stopped filming and I did not know so anyways as I was saying I can't really finish all of that now because all of that really all that story really just got all kind of like whatever but anyway the rest of the story is he made it to where I was basically cheating on him and obviously I didn't cheat because we were not together. He broke up with me and he just shouldn't have and I mean I make crazy decisions. I've been going through so much this week since we broke up. It has hurt me so bad. Like I'm literally, this is both of the necklaces. This is the necklace, the part for me for the his and hers and this one was supposed to be his and now that we're not together and obviously never getting back together because of something I did which I think is kind of stupid that he's mad about. Um... I'm like, why should it go to waste? I'm like going through that phase. Do y'all know like Britney Spears when she wore her wedding dress out to a car sailor person when like she was going through all that back in 2007? Like that's basically me right now. And I'm really, I'm like almost close to shaving my head. Like if I shave my head, I'm going to film a video for y'all about it because you know, if it happens, I might as well film it. So I don't know. It's just a bunch of crazy shit. And I'm like kind of hurt right now a little bit, but also, I mean, the guy was hot. It was fun. I made the decision to do it. Uh, do I regret it? 
kind of, but you know, I, I did something to make me feel better because I wanted to be over him. I, I didn't want to feel this pain anymore that I felt for him. And it's not as intense as it was, but I still feel bad because where he did apparently want to get back together. But I mean, I want y'all's opinion. He should have said something. He should, if he wanted me that bad, if he really loved me that much that he knew that he would be hurt if I did move on or something, he should have said something. And he turned it into, well, you obviously don't care. You obviously didn't love me if you were to do something that fast. It's not even that. I loved him. I loved you. I, I loved you with all of my fucking heart. You broke my heart and I went and made a lot of irrational decisions. So, I mean, I don't know. I miss him and I feel bad about it. Obviously, we probably never are going to talk again. He, he's done blocked me on everything. I blocked him on everything. And it's, it just turned into this big thing that I didn't think was even going to happen since we were not together. Although I wanted to be back together, I loved him. I still love him and I don't know what else to say, but, um, that is my story time for basically this week. I've just been drinking, trying to forget my life, um, and just trying to have fun. And now I'm about to go out with one of my friends again, so hopefully that'll go well and I'll be able to have fun and not think about things. But I mean, life is a weird thing. Once you get past your teens and you're like over 18, you can make your own decisions. It's just bad. Because you're going to make bad decisions. And it's it's fun, but it's bad all at the same time. Like, it, unless you go to jail. That's like the worst possible decisions you can make are the ones that are going to get you in jail. But I'm not in jail, so whatever. But, um, so yeah. I'm going to finish doing my hair and everything. Like, this side of my hair so that I can look okay to go out with my friend. And, um... Yeah, I'll see if I can think of anything else to film for y'all. I do have a couple other um, videos coming up, like I said before, as soon as I edit them and everything. And I hope y'all will enjoy those. And I hope y'all enjoy this video. I hope that this wasn't boring or anything, like too anticlimactic. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm apparently a whore now. I'm a whore who has strange dreams. <laughs> so that is everything. I love y'all and I'm going to see y'all later. So, um, before you go, and if you would like to, subscribe to my channel if you want to stick around for more fun, crazy makeup, crazy story times, all those types of videos, and I'll see y'all later. Um, so yeah, before you go, subscribe and become a member of the Dutch Army today, and give a trans baby its rainbow wings. And you can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Snapchat, all under Joshy6 or It's Joshy6. Facebook is facebook.com slash Joshy6 or It's Joshy6, one or the other. And you can also find me under Joshy Cobain on Twitter and all of that too. Just to say the same as Joshy6. I hope that's not all confusing. It's all in, just in the description box. Um, so yeah, I'll see y'all later. Mwah. Bye, you guys. I love y'all so much. So much. Is there any guys out there who want to date me? I don't know. Let me know down below if you want to be with me. <laughs> Bye.